like to hear from you. There's a better picture of him. Mm. Brave clerk there taking that gun and taking control. Well, Mil Mayor Barrett trying to take control and take a stand against gun violence. He's rallying Midwest leaders and police chiefs at a summit in Minneapolis tomorrow. But gun rights advocates say this is just a tactic to put tighter restrictions on legitimate gun owners. Fox 6's Ashley Sears reports. They are tragedies that have shaken the nation's core and caused heartache locally. Mass shootings that have taken the lives of dozens. It's an issue Mayor Tom Barrett says needs a closer look. He's calling for an open conversation about gun violence. We're dealing with the people who are on the front line in trying to reduce gun violence in America. He's co-hosting a day-long regional gun summit in Minneapolis, bringing together Midwest mayors and police chiefs. It's all a Midwestern focus and it's on what we can do to reduce gun violence. Barrett is focusing on two major points points, tighter laws for those owning semi-automatic weapons and stopping loopholes in private gun sales. If someone cannot legally own a gun, we have to make sure that the laws are in place to make sure that they can't get them. They're taking advantage of the uh, situation that has developed to plan a strategy to try and restrict firearms. Pro-gun movement director Jim Fendry sees the summit as an attack on the Second Amendment. Guns aren't the issue. We have over 20,000 gun laws. One more gun law wouldn't make any difference. Though the summit was planned nearly a year ago, Fendry says leaders are taking advantage of tragedy. This just isn't going to help the situation of the mass shootings that take place. But Barrett says this is not about politics, but about making sure more lives aren't lost. It's taken a new importance. Now, the summit will be a day long event with a series of speakers and roundtable discussions. Mayor Barrett hopes to take the information that comes out of it and pass it along to federal leaders. Live in the newsroom, Ashley Sears, Fox 6 News. Okay, Ashley, thank you. To the Packers now, the offensive line will be so key to victory when the Packers visit the Niners in Saturday night's divisional playoff game. Justin Smith is one big reason he.